Striated convolution is another important building block of convolutional neural networks. So far we have seen normal convolution and padded convolutions. So let's see what are striated convolution. So just a recap of normal convolution. So we have this 7 cross 7 image and we have a 3 cross 3 filter. And uh, we overlap this 3 cross 3 region over here and then do element wise multiplication and adding all the values to get this value. Then here comes the important part. After we are done with this calculation corresponding to this yellow box, we shift it by one step. So this blue is the new position of this filter. Again we do the same thing and this blue region we do element wise multiplication and addition and we calculate this blue value. And then again we shift by one this green value and so on. Similarly when we are done with this all these values we shift down by one. So this is the default and this uh, the step size we call stride. The amount by which we move the filter in both horizontally and vertically. So this can be a very computationally uh, expensive if it's a very very large image if you are shifting it one at a time then computing this may be very computationally expensive. So what we typically do is that we, instead of shifting by one we shift by more units. So a might be s is equal to two and by s we are denoting the stride. S may be two, three and so on. So let's see the strided convolution in action. So first let's look at this animation. So in the left hand side we have this grid and here these dotted lines denote the padding. So we had padded it but that is not important for this lesson since we are talking about strides. So here you see it's shifting by one unit at a time both in rightward as well as bottom direction. But if you look at this one you see from here it directly jumps here. Similarly in vertical direction from here it directly jumps here. So here the stride is 2. So this is the animation showing a strided convolution. So let's see what should be the output size. So in this case what was the output size? If this is n cross n the input and filter size is f cross f then the output was n minus f plus 1. And if we add padding by p on each side then this n changes. So instead of n cross n we have now n plus 2b 2p on one side and n plus 2p on the other side. This n and n can be different also like n1 and n2 but let's take in constant for simplicity. So n plus 2p. So n increases by 2p. So if we have padding this value changes to n plus 2p minus f plus 1 now we will add stride to it. So here the stride was 1. So implicitly there is stride here but it's 1 so we ignore it. So now that we have seen a stride let's do this again. Let's say this is 7 cross 7. This filter is 3 cross 3 and we have a stride equal to 2. So instead of taking one step we will take two steps. And let's assume that p is 0 for this example. So we will place the window here do element wise multiplication and calculate this value. Then we shift by two steps. So whatever was this left top left corner of this window now it will be here. Again do, do element wise multiplication and add all these values to calculate this. Next again two steps so here to here and now here. And now we are here and now we cannot move any further. So you see that just in three steps we have reached the end and this way we will calculate this. And now we will shift this down by three steps, two steps. So here the output size was 5 cross 5 with the same input image, same kernel, same filter. The output was 5 cross 5. Here everything else is same only stride is 2. So it's 3 cross 3. So here the number of uh, pixels in the output image will be n plus 
टू पी माइनस एफ डिवाइडेड बाई एस प्लस वन एंड दिस मे नॉट बी परफेक्टली अलाइनिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स ए इंस्टेड ऑफ सेवन इट वॉज एट देन इट विल नॉट परफेक्टली अलाइन एंड वी आर नॉट अलाउड टू डू कैलकुलेशन लाइक दिस वेयर वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हेयर एंड सम things are going out of the image so we don't perform this kind of calculations so we take floor of floor of this and similarly in the other dimension so this is the complete formula so i hope uh, you understood the concept of stride it is a useful building block in convolutional neural networks and we will use this concept while building our convolutional neural networks